Hello, this is Sal. Today we will be talking about uh, configuring uh, extended access control list. In this network, as you can see, we have three routers, router 1, ISP router, and router 3. We have three web servers, a web server on router 1 connected to router 1, and a web server connected to the ISP, and another web server connected to uh, router 3. We have four switches. Each switch, as you can see, it has uh, the IP address for VLAN 1 configured. And each switch, it has uh, its uh, default gateway configured to the connected gateway of like switch 1 is uh, its gateway is 192.168.20.1. Uh, in, uh, on router 3 here, I configured or enabled the uh, SSH. So like, uh, and also uh, I configured the routing protocol of OSPF. So PCA here can ping, for example, the, the loopback on router two, two, the, two, the, two, the two, and also can ping PCC on 192.168. 30.3 and also like PC here can establish uh, an SS connection with on router 3 SSH link admin 10.2.2.1 and password of admin also pca here and ssh link admin and the two the two that one password of admin uh, the username here on router 3 is admin and the password is admin exit from here and also pcb can ping anywhere the network and can establish an SSH connection. Link admin and the two the two the one and the password of admin. Exit from here. So what I'm gonna be doing here is configuring uh, extended access list. And now before we dive in, you know what's an extended access list? It can have numbers in range of. 100 to 199 and from 2000 to 2699 it's an ordered list of statements that can deny or permit packets based on source and destination IP addresses port numbers and upper layer protocols when we configure the extended access control list it should be applied close to the source of the packets so that a packet is denied near the source to save router resources and bandwidth rather than it being forwarded close to the destination and eventually being denied. There are a variety of reasons we use access control lists. The primary reason is to provide a basic level of security for the network. Access control lists are also used to restrict update for routing from network peers and can be instrumental in defining flow control for network traffic. So now I showed you that I can establish an SSS connection from PC on the, the network 20 here to router 3 and also from PCA and PCB. Now I will configure an access list where I want only PCA to be able to connect via SSH to router 3 but not any other device on the network. So on router 1, uh, enable, configure, terminal, access list, and it is an extended access list, we'll give it uh, number 101. Now we want to permit, permit TCP for the host of 192.168.10.3. And the destination address of 10.2.2.1 
and the wildcard of the destination of 0 .0 0 0.0.0.3 and it's equal to match the packet with given the uh, port number of 22 for SSH now I want only this uh, PC, PCA to have uh, the permission to the host here on this interface to establish or to uh, establish an SSH session or to connect to router 3 via SSH. Now I will configure another access list 101. Now I want to deny deny TCP from the network, the rest of the network of 192.168.10.0 and the source wildcard, the inverse uh, subnet mask of 0 .0 0.0.0.255 and the destination here is 10.2.2.1 and also it wants the inverse subnet mask of 0 .0 0.0.0.3 for the IP address of 10.2.2.1 and equal uh, we don't want anybody to establish an SSH connection from this network except for the PCA now where we will apply this access list it's on this guy here on this interface of uh, serial 000 so interface as 000 IP access group and the number is 101 Exit here and here. Now uh, let's see from PCA we will admin and we are able to. Let's see from PCB if we can establish an SS connection. No, we can't. Now, uh, this access list uh, is working the way how we configured it, but affected because we applied it on this interface here uh, on SS0 uh, serial 000. So it will, it's a preventing any traffic from network of 192.168.20.0 the same. So if we try to we don't we don't we didn't want to block PC of 192.168.20.2 from establishing an SSH connection with the router 3 but I guess it did and also for PCA can we ping we can establish an SSH connection with the, the router three but can we ping it the same interface no we can't can we reach the web server here let's see 192.168.40.3 and again we can so now let's continue working on fixing uh, the issues here with uh, on the network of 192.168.10.0 so now we will modify the access list IP access list extended and what was the number we gave it it was 101 now we have permission to permit TCP, the network of 192.168.10.0. We are just want nobody in this network to establish an SS connection to this uh, router here, router IT, except for PCA, and we configured that. But now we affect, we want them to have access to the web servers anywhere. So permit TCP. Uh, 
source of 192, 168.10.0, that, that's network, and the wildcard is 0 .0 0.0.255. And where destination of any. Any. And equal to 80. Exit. Exit here. Let's see from PCA. Uh, let's do it again. 192, 168. Dot 40, dot 3. Yes, we can. Can we access uh, establish a web session from PCB? Uh, go to web browser 192.168.40.3 yes we can but still can we ping from pc a let's go here and let's see if we can ping no we can and the thing is also with this network of 192.168.20.0 when we applied the access list here on this interface of serial 000, it also blocked uh, this network here. So we'll go to router one and again modify the access list and the extended access list of 101. Configure terminal and the way how to modify it on the same. Uh, IP access list and it is an extended access list and we gave it a number 101 this is how when you want to modify your extended access list now we want to permit we want to permit any internet protocol IP to what's the source here it's 192.168.20 192 192.168.20.0 and the uh, inverse subnet mask of 0 .0 0.0.0.255 and the destination host any that's it so let's see exit here exit here we don't need to apply to the interface anymore we are modifying the extended access list of 101 let's go to pc this guy here and see if we can access list the web server here first of 192.168.40.3 yes we can okay let's see if uh, it can establish an ssh connection yes it can admin exit so now can this guy ping I'll keep going back to see if it pings. No, it can't. So again, I'm trying to show you that you can modify and add to the extended access list as you go. You know, maybe you received a complaint from the user. Oh, why I cannot ping? Why I cannot uh, connect to this web server or do this or that? So either you arrange your work beforehand to know exactly to what you want to do, or you just go fix your the network as you go ip access list and it was an extended and we gave it number 101 so now we want to permit permit what ip from the source network of 192 168.10.0 and the wildcard of 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 and the destination of any and that's it exit here exit here let's see from pca we kept trying to ping and with no and now yes we can and we ping from pcb ping 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 
do? Yes, we can. Can we ping from this guy here? Uh, ping to the to the to the two. Yes, we can. Uh, so this is our network. And I modify created the extended access list and modified it. And let me see if we can access the open uh, web browser from the PC on network 20. Of 209.165.200.226. Yes, we can. And this is the web server on this side here. As you can see, you know, it is. Uh, uh, really easy how to configure uh, an extended access list, how to give permission or permit devices and how to deny others and how to edit uh, or modify the extended access list as, as you go. And as I said, I love to always say that keep it simple, you know, and as you go, you know, you will learn, learn it simple and you will know for sure that, that how to work in more complicated networks. I hope you learned a tip or two from this video. Please, if you like it, uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions, anything, any video you want me to uh, uh, explain to you something you don't understand just please leave me a, a comment and I will make sure to create a video and explain whatever you need with the CCNA switches and routers and CCNA security thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video have a nice day